Okay, I'm starting to get annoyed at staying here. We lost our treehouse. We lost some of our friends. We lost the whole, whole candy kingdom. How could things possibly get any worse? Yeah, I know, right? I, yeah, Lady Rancorn. I need some food. I'm gonna go to, go to the kitchen. We can't leave the house until we know it's safe a little bit. Uh, there's no TV. No, nothing. Well, so we're working on getting a TV. It's just not the same without a whole TV. I know how you feel, bro. <coughs> hmm? Someone's at the door. I'll go get it. You won't stay here. Careful, Finn. Could be trouble, man. I wonder who's at the door right now. <laughs> Surprised to see me, Finn? Hunter's uh, Wizard? What are you doing here? I could have sworn you probably got caught by evil people or something. They can't catch this wizard. Anyways, you gotta come in? Um, just, 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 just sure. You're acting very weird today. The outer space TV out of the city. That's the one TV we're able to see, man. man. Guys! Um, uh, turn the TV off for me. We can't, they can't know we're watching from the outside. Like, yeah, let's do it. Uh, hey, Finn, what's up? Okay, first of all, that was weird, but second of all, look who I found! Who could it be? Hey, fellas. Huntress Wizard! I thought you died! Why? Would, never mind. Anyways, I heard about what happened to the candy kingdom and everything. Yeah, we need. We're assembling an elite team to save, save our friends. You in? Of course I'm in. I need to save my family. All right, let's do this. Heroes for life. Meanwhile, with the seven, you think they're treating Fern okay? There's a highly doubtful chance, Marceline. They're very bad people. Remember? Yeah, I know, but. We're worried about him. We haven't seen him in a minute. Greetings. Oh, great. Another member of the Seven. I've come to tell you that your friend Fern is A-OK. -okay. Come on out, Fern. Huh? <gasps> Surprised to see me like this again? The Grass Knight form. How'd you do this? We found the little grass demon. And so, we asserted him and back to his proper body. Yep, it feels good to be in control of that grass boy again. And this time, unless they, you speed the seven, I'm stuck in this body for the rest of your of his life. Anyways, it's time I get things underway. We need more members. Specifically looking at you, PB. I'll never join you. Is that so? Well then, I make things proper. Giving you an example. <laughs> Of what I'll do to you if you don't. <laughs> Think about that. Peebs, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Peppermint Butler. Anyways, we gotta go meet Boss. Alright, All right, I'm on my way there. Goodbye. <laughs> Back with Finn and Jake. Alright, so what exactly is your plan, Lady Huntress Wizard? I thought this device needs to teleport you up right onto the ship. And as long as this device is hooked to you, where is it hooked to us inside of there? I put it in your drinks as well, and now it's inside of your body. How are we supposed to get up there then? Simple. Tap on your chest, Jake. Alright. Whoa! How did that? Yeah. That's what happened. Okay then. Whoa! Good luck, Ben. Good luck, Jake. Hopefully they'll be alright. I think they will. Whoa! Okay, what is... What the... Who did... Oh. You're not the members of the Seven. Who are you? Call me Red Dagger. Wait a minute. I heard of you, you when I first came onto the ship at that one time. You were in one of their files as one of, as one of the former members. But it said former on there, there was an X crashed out of your name. Oh. I think it's time I tell you a story about what happened. Flashback. Years ago, the Seven roomed peacefully, as people called the Islandians. They always lived a good life. My friend. The seven, my friend, the visitor, 
He, wait, the visitor was your friend? Yeah, shut up, let me continue the story. Anyways, he was just a little kid when he first met me. Hey, hey there. Huh? My name is Red Dagger, what's your name? The visitor. You wanna be friends? Um, sure. Believe it or not, you're one of my first friends. Red Dagger, it's time for school. All right, let's go. It's time to go to school. Ah, oh, great. I gotta go back to that booty pool. While in school, a man came to our door. <coughs> I'm gonna go see what's at the classroom. I'm gonna go see what's at the classroom door. I'm going with you, best buddy. No, no, and no. Let me get this perfectly clear. We're not that far ahead in friendship, all right? Don't pull that mess. Don't pull that Goku mess. You understand me? Fine. Hmm. I'm friends with an idiot. Naturally, the visitor went up to answer it. <laughs> Greetings. Wait, pause in the story. Is this guy Frieza or no? Anything but him. He's chilled. But it looks nothing like this is the best figure we can come up with. Let me continue my big story. All right. Greetings, mortals. Uh. Back then, Chilled was the president of our of our home planet. What do you want? I'm here to collect everyone in this room to become members of my elite gr criminal organization. You will make, you will terrorize planets and destroy things for the living. But we don't want to do that. Okay, now I'm gonna make this perfectly clear. Go on to my ship. How is this happening? Do it's time for me to blow up this pitiful planet. I'll take them myself, without the rest of the peeps. We say goodnight. Our planet. Now, you all will work for me. Is that understood? Yes, sir. It was never fun. We were pushed around, shoved, beaten for a living. Until one day, one of our friends had enough. Who dares to <laughs> split our leader in half? Said that we're free to do our own choices. We asked what we should do since our planet was gone. This was his answer. You, the visitor, you'll be our leader. For day on, we'll be known as the Seven. And, and we... We will destroy anyone who gets in our way for the name of the planet of our home planet. We are the Islandians. Flashback ends. Whoa. I know. Rough life. But eventually, I left the group. Why did you leave? A new flashback. All right, Iron Golem, you go prepare the ship and we're gonna blow up another planet. Yes, sir. Um, dude, well, best friend Red Dagger, what's up? I don't think we should keep this up anymore. I mean, all these innocent people did nothing to us. We should be going after all the people who've harmed us and the people who destroyed our planet. Don't ever question the way I do things again. Do you understand me? Seven. Chase him down. He got away. Do you want us to go? No. I know him soon enough. One day he'll eventually show his face again. At the moment, let's just get to you on. On the end of another flashback. So you betrayed your own friend? He wasn't my friend anymore. The friend I knew died a long time ago. So I stay out here in the backside of the ship in the bottom part. Well, not the backside. I'll show you where I live at. Follow me, you two. Um, okay. Meanwhile, with the seven. Dun, dun, dun.
Boss, we've come to we've come to tell you something. What is it that you must tell me? All the prisoners are in the cells right now. Sooner or later they're gonna start speaking. Good. Very good. Um, boss, your helmet is off. I know. It's time I reveal some things that may scare other people. What the? You're... You were never alive? I died. How did you... But how... I'll explain. One time, when I was off to destroying a planet, or destroying his people, I should say, a warrior came out of nowhere and started attacking me. He turned me into a freaking stone. Then I got free from the stone, but the sword was still in my hand. Then lightning struck down upon me. It was a powerful rift like lightning. It was purple. And then the lightning destroyed, destroyed my entire body, leaving me nothing but skeleton. A random person came up to me, huge and everything. Came up to me, granted me, said he would give me the power to come back to life. And here I am. But the only way I could keep this way is if I complete one task. What was the task, boss? I destroy Finn Mertens once and for all. Prepare the ships. I know Finn is probably on board. Prepare the soldiers and everything. Finn Mertens finally dies. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, we'll Finn, Jake, and Red Dagger. So, this is where you stay at. Below the ship? Yeah. No one knows where I actually be at. This is my secret little lair. If anyone ever figured out where I was down here, I'd die. They'd kill me before they even let me try to escape. Their technology is more powerful than it was before. No wonder they were able to destroy this candy kingdom so easily. Yeah. That makes sense. Da, da, da. No, they're looking for you. Uh, I know what to do. Red Dagger, what are you... What? You stay under there. Red Dagger! It's time I have to defend myself. Red Dagger, no! I know you're up here, visitor. It right you may be, Red Dagger. We meet again, old friend. Yeah, we do. No weapons this time. No weapons. Only Fist of Fury. That's the old friend I knew. <laughs> Spikes on your boot. <laughs> Monkey waggles. Monkey what? <laughs> you monster. <laughs> you know what? What? <laughs> I got away within an inch of my life. No. What's up, old friend? You wanted to throw away your gun just then. I don't need a gun to kill you. <laughs> the Solarian sword. <laughs> Who told you this is what this is? I've known through plenty of planets. I know pretty much my culture. Well then, I think it's safe to say you know way too much. 
Jake, now! We got you, Red Dagger. Let's go find our friends. Finn Mertens is, I know. It's time I approach him, finally. What about me? You just stay back. We'll save you for part for plan two. All right, Green Phantom. Yeah, the yeah the Voyager. But I finally get done. Don't hesitate to kill. <laughs> it's my turn now. Red Dagger, Finn, and Jake. Come on, man. The prisoner room is not that far. We can make it. Don't worry. I'm gonna find. It's okay. I've been looking for you, Finn. <sighs> what beef do you even have with me? Not the matter of beef. It's the matter of blood. I'm, I'm gonna go look for your friends, alright? No. You're right here. Chains. Hey, who are you? Why are you doing this? I'll tell you who I am. No, no way. That's right, Finn. I am your father. Your true father. Lynn Mertens. Martin only told me there was a, that he found me somewhere. You're my true father. That's right. I'm glad I could finally meet you, son. Now, son, you can do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> Join my crew in our group of seven, and I'll let you live. But refuse? Ten rings. <laughs> I'll kill you. You got those from Sang Chi, didn't you? You're be correct. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> go sleep, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep. <laughs> you think you should know some things about your fam? Like what? <laughs> Finn. Besides Jake and Jermaine, you <laughs> have a brother. No way. Now, if you don't mind, I'm finally gonna get my revenge. <laughs> Sorry, Finn. There was no other way. He had to get shot. You think I'm gonna stay down like that? It's just no. I'm not gonna be the only one that chases after you, Finn. Your lost brother. You'll see him again, eventually. Why is it on fall? That bullet. Turns people into ash. My hand just finally turned to ash. Now, my friend, and it appears it is my turn. It's alright, Finn. I know. What does he mean I have a brother? I don't know, man. But whatever it is, we just gotta go find PB first. Come on, fellas. We're still stuck in prison. Oh, yeah, we're still stuck in the prison. Really, PB? Oh, yeah. Heaven helped our prison, so we're still inside the prison. What have we told you about? What have I told you about singing duct tape to a wall? Finn, you finally made it! Yep. It didn't take it without a- I finally caught you! <laughs> Do 
No, he is mine. No, oh, no. I'll get the rest. You, Green Phantom. No, please. I have a really better name. <laughs> Which is Ben Mertens. Older bro Ben. Hey, brother. Surprised to see me? Why are you up here with the seven? Out of all the people. Dad gave me an opportunity. I took that opportunity. You should have too, bro. This, this isn't right. I won't let this continue on, brother. Well then, allow the fact that the seven will stop you. It take you out. Peace. Bye. Peace. <laughs> to be continued.